Hello everyone, MLK Productions here, and today I have a lot of updates coming to my channel, so let's start with the first thing, the smallest, and it's Riddler's lab. Well, Riddler's, you know, his like area where he talks to Batman and gets him to do riddles for him to find him. This is his little area, um, Riddler two guards they use foot soldier bodies different heads um, one of them has shorts I mean one of them has no um, sleeves and the other one does he has a shotgun he has like an assault rifle and they're um, guarding the door but it's green like Riddler yeah I did that a couple days ago but yeah this is re really their Mega Blocks pieces, the green ones. But this, the bottom is all Lego. The inside is all Lego. And that's the, these are the only things that are Mega Blocks. The windows, Lego, and the door is Lego. But I think um, I'm going to use this in a recent stop motion soon. Um, dang. I'll tell you guys that at the end, but yeah, I'll use this in a stop motion. The second biggest thing is this. This is something I'm going to use for my Batman stop motion. This can like break and stuff, you know. That's why I put only one brick here and it didn't overlap this on there. And this is actually somewhere Riddler puts his bombs. So yeah. Um so the third biggest thing I am really proud of this. It's very um Well, you guys comment down below how you think about this, but I actually made a custom Batmobile. It's like a bat tank, a tumbler and whole bunch of Batmobiles mixed into one. This is my custom Batman minifigure, Robin, just with red arms, I mean red hands, so nothing new about him. Batman has a cape, um, he has the 2019, I think, I think it's 2019 Batman head, but the body is from the um, Batman from Attack of the Talons, that Lego set where he comes with the Talons. I actually just got that minifigure and it's pretty good also um i even made a chest plate for it it's like scratched up so this is the original the scratched up one is somewhere and it's thundering again um but yeah and the base they're on is this it's just like a whole bunch of snow pieces so yeah so now let's look at the Batmobile. So, <laughs> oh Lord. So the Batmobile is, it's pretty large compared to the minifigure. All right, it's like a bat tank. It's big enough to be a bat tank, but I like to call it my Batmobile because this is actually the very first Batmobile that I've actually made. Um, I did have one other Lego set with a Batmobile, but, um, yeah, I was like eight and I destroyed it. Um, I don't know why he won't sit. His cape probably in the way. There we go. He fits in there pretty nicely. Um, he has a HUD right there, if you guys can see that. It's just the um, the HUD from Avengers um, Endgame, the Quinjet. But yeah, it has two stud shooters. Now you might be wondering, why do you have stud shooters? That messes it up. Well, I mean, if you don't like it, I could just take it off. But I actually like these things. They're actually pretty fun. You can shoot three of them out at once. The last one on mine won't come out for some reason. But, surprisingly, I didn't lose all of them. And they also just went flying. But, 
that's just on here with one of these it already has that technic piece inside so that then I'll put a jumper right there and then I just clipped it on no I will not be doing a review well I already did the review on it but I'm not gonna be doing a build review because <laughs> it was too hard to think of how I was gonna do it for me to just keep destroying it and then building it back well once destroying it and building back I won't even know where the pieces go so um yeah if you guys don't like the stud shooters um just um I don't know but don't dislike the video because this has stud shooters um I know people hate stud shooters Honestly, I don't like the ones that you have on a gun. You know, stud shooters, I, I, I don't know. I honestly don't like stud shooters, but I used them on here because the other things I had on here, like I had this big old cannon on the side, it didn't look right. So I put it on the front. It didn't look right. So guns on this didn't look right so i just put the stud shooters on and it looks good i mean so this is it if the cockpit was moved forward more it would look like an arkham knight thing i mean an arkham knight batmobile i think so comment down below what you guys want to name this batmobile and here's the engine pretty proud of it and so um, yeah, you guys can name this Batmobile in the comments, um, well, I'm getting too distracted, but, um, it's like a mixture of the Arkham Knight Batmobile, a classic Batmobile for the front, and then it's like a tumbler with the big wheels, and then it's so bulky, so, Honestly, I like it. Some people might not like the stud shooters, but those are easy to take off. Like, I mean, really. I mean, I think people are just exaggerating on them. I don't like the ones where you put them in their hand. I think you should add the real guns. And, I mean, yeah. Maybe kids won't like blasters, but... I mean, we don't even get blasters and police sets no more. I mean, guns and police sets no more. And Star Wars, they stop. Like, all the other ones, they either have one blaster and then one blaster pistol. And they don't have four in one set for a battle pack. Like the Mandalorian battle pack and the um, Sith Trooper battle pack. Which wasn't a Sith Trooper. So it should be called a Jetpack Trooper Battle Pack. But I'm getting off topic. So this was my Batmobile. Um, I'm pretty proud of it. I built this on Google Duo talking to my brother. So, yeah. I'm pretty proud of it. And I made a custom Batman for my new stop motions. I will be using this head too because I really like it. It's like very good. This is like one of my favorite Batman heads that I've ever seen. Other than the one with the, um, no. So this suit is cool. It's like my second favorite compared to the remote control Batmobile that we got. Um, I like that Batman suit. It looks exactly like the Arkham Knight one, but this one is like my second favorite. My third would be the new ones. The one that came with this head. I like them because they got the goggles so you can take his mask off and it could look like he's still talking without him having a big old mask, like uh, a wrap around his head looking like he hurt. But yeah, I actually like it. Um, if you guys don't like the stud shooters, I'm going to put them on over here. So... The last thing is this. Oh. oh my god. I just dropped my phone. I'm glad it didn't crack. 
but I am too far into this to stop now. So, these are my two custom minifigures. I posted Raz al Ghul, how I built him on Instagram, but I didn't show you guys on YouTube. I don't know if I use this cape on Instagram. If you're um, following me on Instagram, it's um, the official underscore MLCAP underscore productions. That's my Instagram name if you want to find it. And I did not show this Batman. I will post this on how to build him. But really, it's just the Batman versus Superman torso, flesh colored arms, um, gray hands. I took one of the Mandalorian capes. And I cut it to look like this. Um, I have one of those Ninjago sword things with the sword in it. Um, and the legs are from Wild Style from the Lego Movie 2. The cowl on this one is from... So the head is from the Lego Batman movie. And this piece is from the newer style Batman that's about to come in the new... Lego sets and it came in the sets before in 2019. Razo Gul just uses a Lloyd body from Sons of Garmadon. He uses um, a Lloyd sword from uh, season 11, I think it is. I don't know. The face is Hanzo. The hair is Wolverines. The um, neck piece is Black Panthers. This is just a Batman cape from the Lego Juniors Batman because too lazy to look for another one with two with two um holes or I just don't have one with another one with two holes the um arms I took off of one of my vultures cuz I had two actually I have three I had one from the um 2019 sets one from the newer sets and then one extra one from eBay that came late but and he uses plain black hands and vulture arms and the background is not that much cooler it's this part that's cool make sure my phone doesn't fall this time this is the cool part so I have like a whole bunch of um, pieces just lined up all the way to that side have a waterfall and I'm pretty proud of it I know people don't like big ugly rock pieces anymore but it started on a white base plate and I just added a whole bunch of these um, those type pieces and then I even overlapped the water to make it look like you know it's overlapping the water um, then I made this like broken down building well, it wasn't a building. It was like a little shack that Batman lives in. Um, he doesn't live in it right now because he's about to fight Roz. Um, so, yeah. Now, time for the bad news. That was all good news. I didn't tell you guys good news or bad news in the beginning. But that was good news. The bad news is... I probably won't be posting more than three videos. This is one, so two more. Because I'm going to Las Vegas, Nevada next week. On I mean, next weekend to see my mother. Um, so I'll be there for one week, and then I'm coming back. Okay? So I'll be here before my birthday. I'll do a birthday video um, where I get Lego sets, and I'll show you guys the Lego sets I get. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. If the comments are turned on, just comment. I keep saying I'm not gonna say that, but it's like my, it's like what I said at the end of my videos, like comment, subscribe. It's like, it's mandatory in my head, but the comments probably aren't turned on. It's thundering, so I'm probably gonna go to sleep because, I mean, well, it's not even nighttime. What am I talking about? So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, comment if comments are turned on. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Do you guys want me to say bye or peace?
comment. <laughs> Alright, peace.